Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Uh, yesterday we had a program. We went to pray for the businesses. And as part of that program, we were to prepare a two-minute <coughs> testimony. And I ne never did get to uh, give my two-minute testimony <laughs> that I spent time preparing. And our national director of this program, Doug Raines, even coached me on the testimony and said, do this here, round it off, and make it a little smoother. And uh, so I've got to give my two-minute testimony. <laughs> and uh, I had had a career in a dog-eat-dog -dog competitive profession of court reporting, where court reporters claimed certain lawyers as their clients and property. And uh, these particular reporters attacked anyone who competed with them. So I stood up for myself against the intimidation and competed. And I was disliked by all that claimed the work of the lawyers as their own personal property. And, and I reported the supervisor for taking advantage of his position for personal gain and abusing his position. And I was transferred to a court as a result of that where I did double the work and I made even, made even less money. I tried to be a leader of the profession, and we, I led the effort to bring national court reporter testing to Connecticut. And I was still disliked uh, by those in the, in the profession for standing up for what I believed in. I worked long and hard at this, and I was at my wit's end in bringing this national testing to Connecticut. And I awoke one night, I hadn't been to church in 15 years except with my Catholic wife on Easter and Christmas. I wasn't a Christian. And I awoke in the middle of the night and I had a feeling of love come over me. And the next morning was Sunday. And I called up the church of my birth in a, in a different town. And I said, what time is the service? And I went to that service and, I, and the Lord embedded on my heart goodness, kindness, and mercy. And I've been a changed man ever since. Praise God. And it's Amen. been 33 Amen. years I've been a Christian. I haven't missed a, maybe one or two services in 33 years. But the scripture is true. All things work to the good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And we should rejoice in all things. Let's see if I, any, anything else in my two-minute testimony? <laughs> I've been watching Bill grow for f four years. And he growed from being behind the scenes and never doing anything out front and always helping out. He's the man that gets on the computer and sends out emails. And for Doug, he was sending out all the emails of what we were about to do, etc. And I see Bill growing to the point now that he's ready to take the position and authority that God has placed in him. And you're about to see, this is the new bill that's coming out. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and anything that was shy is disappearing. And boldness is coming out instead. Go ahead. Amen. Can you say I something? I vote for that new bill. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm rejoicing in the Lord and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I've been blessed, and I'm a man of a billion blessings. That's the uh, insight the Lord has given me. And I've got to remember that. I'm a man of a billion blessings, and I'm not going to let anybody steal my blessings. Hallelujah. 